Hello. How's everyone doing today, ladies and gentlemen? Who's excited for P2 right now? I can see the chat's going crazy. That's why I like to see. So today, I have my partner in crime, another caster. You guys might know him, you guys might not. If you don't, you will know him pretty soon. He's an ex Gosu member, MPL panel analyst. I introduce you guys to Paulo Expert. Already, Natalia giving good vision here. They know that BTK is on this right hand bush. Kufra with the concussive blast. Nice first kill. Already Ready first, blood. first wow. blood. Wow. Coming in for BTK. And Lilia also getting a trade. It's going to be a 1 for 1 trade. He finally made a play again with the Brody. So very nice pick off right there. BTK Moba Zayn getting focused by Natalia in the back line. This Natalia is making plays all over the place. And look at the Brody getting another kill right there. Natalia living with 1 HP, needing to recall. And Shinobi showing us. They're giving BTK a run for their money. Yeah, definitely shaky here. I don't know if BTK can Got bounce back. That's gonna be another Collapping. tower. Or BTK. Another nice pickoff. He's gonna be stuck into a wall. Nice second skill. Four barracks, and that's gonna be another one for zero trade in favor of Shinobi. Jesus Christ, Shinobi showing BTK what is up right now. And look at this zoning from Barrett and Nat. Vision from Nat, and then zoning from Barrett so that this Lilia can push this tower. BTK already know that they're in an advantage. It's a it's gonna be a 4v5 advantage. So they know with that game sense, they're gonna take advantage of it and try to bait out this Lord. It looks like they're resetting this Lord though, and they're backing off. Very nice awareness from Shinobi, and it looks like ooh, oh, look Shinobi might steal the Lord. Sword. Gets reset. Oh, it doesn't get reset. Oh, x going for the ultimate, but it doesn't make it. The Lord will be secured by Barrett. Wow, Shinobi turning the game around. I don't think that was a good idea for BTK. They tried to bait it out, but Shinobi was there to actually get the Lord before it even resets. And Brody bursted that Lord so fast. Chu is going to be split pushing this top lane. The second tier tower for top lane and mid lane are still up here. So um, Barrett's though, putting a little bit of a pressure in the front line. Kufra trying to... Oh, he, he actually has vision that the Shinobi is doing the Lord. This is going to be risky. It's going to be a 50-50 x -Mark actually spilling this Lord with the ulti. Cardi making the place. And this is what I mean when I said all they needed is one good play to change the, the, the tide of the game. But it looks like Moa Zayn is actually going to get picked off here. And Chu, 1 HP. He needs to run away. Lapu Lapu going to chase this Chu right here. Um, He's old. Oh, the regen coming in. He needs to shun pull out. He flickers out. Oh, he's in big trouble. Can Lapu Lapu secure this kill? And he ends up getting away with the dashes. Natalia's in the back line though. And look at this, they're very, very low. Farce is almost dead. Natalia's gonna die with 10% HP. And Farce is gonna be able to get away. The Lord gets secured by BTK. Um, Shinobi should have played smarter instead of doing a 50-50 Lord, um, in my opinion. But it looks like Chu might get picked, picked off here. Getting bursted by Moba Zane. That's gonna be a pickoff again for BTK. It looks like x did an ulti to zone it out. Barrett is getting bullied right here by this x -Borg, And this is not looking good. BTK making the plays. This might be another kill. That is gonna be a 3 for 0 trade in favor of BTK. Oh my god. This is where Shinobi just kind of fell off. 4 for 0 trade. Lilia is gonna be the only one left alive for Shinobi. Can he defend this game? Let's see if Shinobi can actually live for a little bit for his teammates to actually survive and respawn. But it's gonna, it's it's looking very slim right now. x still has immortality, so he, he has a lot of pressure. He's not scared to OT in and BTK turning the game around just like that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Pika, what, what can you say about that game? Jesus. See, all right, so this Franco pick, guys, we don't see this in FPL, <laughs> but let's see if it works here in NA. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to see. Yeah, Franco, hopefully, I mean, Franco is actually not a bad pick. The reason why Franco is not Welcome usually picked in the Legends. professional scene, guys, is he doesn't offer enough pressure in the early stage of the game. And Five it's super, super hook dependent. You don't know if you have Smash a good day with your hooks. You don't know if you're gonna be wolf exotic no with, in your today's game, right? You don't, you don't know if you're gonna make plays with your hooks. It's very, very hook dependent. And considering that BTK is so mechanically gifted, they're all mechanically talented, they could simply just sidestep and just bait out the hooks. So let's see if this Franco could uh, make an impact here. And look at this, Turtle already being done by Roger. Objective minded so far for BTK, and this is what I like to see from BTK. And BTK so far. with the steal. Oh my god, Turtle has been slain by Roger. It looks like Alice is trying to change the tide of the game, but it doesn't matter. The Roger's online. Lapu Lapu getting a double kill actually, and that is gonna be a triple kill. 
for Lapu Lapu. Oh my god. I don't know how to play the revamp Lapu Lapu. I wish I could have seen more action in that. But looks like BTK, there's four, five. Five members here on the top side of the map. And they want to dive it. They're not scared. Farsa getting a kill on Franco. Like I said, they don't have a good front line. And look at the Roger going for the cleanup. And look at this. Azer needs to run away. Double kill coming in from Roger. Jawhead is dead as well. Chang needs to back off. He is 10% health. And that is going to be an objective right there. Taken by BTK. Two kills for none in favor of BTK. And an extra tower on the top side of the map. Cardi. Just um, just a little bit too impatient right there. Maybe he saw that Franco was too tanky, so he doesn't want to go for that pickup. Franco gives him another hook, and it looks like if there's going to be another ball here on the top lane. Fox is getting a burst. Roger getting a killing spree. Mega kill coming in from Lapu Lapu. This is not looking good for Shinobi. Double kill coming in from Lapu Lapu and Roger. But the shutdown coming in for the freaking Kari, but it doesn't matter. Alice is going to be the only one left in the side of Shinobi, and that is going to be more objective being taken by BTK. Wow, this is definitely oh, not looking good. Um, a lot of ways here for people with the channel wow. and the Alice, but oh my that god! Wow. Farsa, that damage, Farsa that damage. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Franco with the hook, but purifies there, it doesn't even matter. Oh my, I don't even think BTK needs the Lord to finish the game. And they're just waiting for minions to end here. And BTK right now, they're waiting for the Lord to spawn. Oh man, they're so confident that they're gonna take this game. That Marsha getting that solo kill. They, they're gonna dive into the base. Lapu Lapu getting another kill on Kari. This is not looking good for Shinobi. And that might be it. With their truncheon going down for Alice, but it doesn't matter. BTK is way too strong. They snowball way too hard. And that is a victory for BTK. Again, look at this Farsa. 4, 0, and 13. 44% damage! <laughs> Doubled Roger's damage! <laughs> oh, Jesus! With, okay, Farsa did more damage than Lapu Lapu and Roger combined! <laughs> that is wow, that is crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> what do you That's think uh, Shinobi should have done to fix to fix this now, situation? Franco, <laughs> yeah, I did not I did Bro. not like that Franco pick. You know, Franco did land one hook, but in the end, he, like Paulo said, he is hook dependent. So if he's not making any plays, then your team most likely not making any plays. And then Team Shinobi is also aiming for a late late game team. So as you can see, they have Chunga, Kerry, and also Franco. Everything about their team is late game. While early game, BTK has it. He ha they have Farsa, they have Roger, they have Lapu. They have all the damage. So they could win every team fight until late game. And that's what they did. They executed early game. They played it the BTK way. And you know what? That was an easy win for them. I definitely agree with Pika right here. Um, it kind of, it's kind of what happened to, if we're looking back at the first game, Shinobi did really good in the early stages of the game, but they didn't snowball enough and BTK ended up scaling. But for this game on the second game, BTK actually had the early game team comp this time, while Shinobi had the late game team comp. But the only difference here is BTK actually capitalized on objectives, kills, and the rotation around the map vision, get all the information that they have to actually snowball and not give Shinobi a chance to even come back. That's why they finished the game in 12 minutes. Kari did not make an impact because he, he did not have enough items at all. The Franco only had one hook the whole game and it was on Cho. They didn't even get the kill either way. Um, Alice did okay, he did 30% damage, but it, it's, it's just not enough guys. Um, not enough pressure from Jawhead in the offlane. Um, this is why Jawhead is not usually picked. Because if your teammates fail the early stage of the game, offlane Jawhead becomes useless. Because late, late game Jawhead falls off, alright? Especially if you're building a full damage Jawhead on the offlane. You're really, really squishy. You're not going to be able to make as much plays because you don't have as much vision around the map. So I think that was the game changer here. But congratulations to BTK for moving to the next round.